What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about another one of those topics in the community during the COD World War II beta that people were asking for a change on, and this is muzzle flash. Now, just like with all the other videos, I just want to point out, I'm not crying about anything, I'm not upset about anything, I'm simply showing you guys the actual facts and information so you guys can make a decision for yourself as to whether or not you like a certain mechanic. At the end of the video, I'm definitely going to bring my opinion into this, but this is generally just to show you what the muzzle flash is like in COD World War II in comparison to some of the recent Call of Duty titles. So starting it off, let's have a look at a screenshot here from the STG. This is one of the ones that was complained about a little bit more because it had quite a bit more muzzle flash, or at least a lot of people felt like it had a lot more muzzle flash than other guns. And what I did is I just found the frame that the muzzle flashed was the brightest. I did this for all of these Call of Duty games that I'm going to be covering today. And as you can see here, the muzzle flash has quite a bit of a glow to it. It spreads across the screen quite a bit. It's not really defined by any means. There's not like a bunch of defined flames or anything. It's just kind of a big glow that emits from the middle of your screen. Let's compare that to first off Advanced Warfare. And with Advanced Warfare, I took a clip from the STG as well. So we would get a nice comparison there. And you can see the muzzle flash is significantly reduced compared to COD World War II. Now once again, we don't really have super defined flames or anything. It is again kind of just that glow that comes from the middle of the screen. But it doesn't cover nearly the same amount of the screen and it's not nearly as bright as well. Moving on to Black Ops 3, I use the KN44 here, and as you can see, this is where we start to see some really defined flames, and not so much of just a glow that emits from the screen. So with this one, you can see the flames are quite big, they do cover a good portion of the center of your screen, but again, that overall glow that comes off of the flames doesn't spread quite as far as it does in COD World War II. And that means you have less of that sort of like strobe effect as you're firing because it's not your whole screen that's lighting up, it's just a concentrated area around the gun that lights up. Moving on to Infinite Warfare, I started with the NV4 here, and as you can see, once again, we have some very defined flames, actually a little bit more defined than Black Ops 3, and they don't seem to spread quite as much as Black Ops 3 either. And you can see a little bit of a glow behind the muzzle flash, but again, nothing that spreads too far. It doesn't light up your whole screen by any means. It just has that little bit of glow behind the flames themselves. I also thought it'd be interesting just to throw in an energy weapon here from Infinite Warfare, since it does have a completely different muzzle flash characteristic. And as you can see here, I have the Volk, and this is the brightest point of the muzzle flash. You can see the muzzle flash is very different. It's super defined. And it does spread out a decent amount, but again, it's not lighting up your whole screen. It's just contained in a very defined area. So finally, we have Modern Warfare Remastered. And with Modern Warfare Remastered, I used the MP44, which is basically the STG44. And again, we see a return to that not very defined flame. It's more of just a glow that's coming from the center of your screen. But once again, it's nowhere near the glow that we're seeing in COD World War II. So after looking at all of these, I think that pretty definitively confirms that the muzzle flash in COD World War II is a lot higher than we're used to seeing, at least in the more recent titles of Call of Duty. Now personally, I didn't really notice or care about this too much when I was playing in the beta. I didn't feel like it was affecting my ability to get kills, and I didn't find it to be super annoying or anything, but I have seen a lot of the complaints on Reddit, in my comments section, on Twitter. I've seen lots of complaints about the muzzle flash, and as you can see by doing the comparisons here, it looks like those complaints may be valid. Now of course, this is an art style decision as well. If they want to keep it like this, that's totally up to them. But I can definitely see why people dislike this and would like that muzzle flash to be reduced a little bit. Now one thing I'd like to add here as well is not all guns are created equal when it comes to muzzle flash. With the SMGs, I noticed very little muzzle flash compared to the assault rifles for instance. So this is something that can be balanced per class as well. So my personal thoughts on this, I'm fine either way. After looking at these comparisons, I kind of would like to see muzzle flash reduced a little bit. But it's one of those things, like I said, it didn't really affect my gameplay at all personally. So if they didn't change it, I don't think I would really care. And I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the muzzle flash in COD World War II? Is it something you noticed and was really annoying and was it causing you to lose any gunfights? Or were you like me where you didn't really notice or just don't really care? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.